All right, welcome back everybody to another exciting episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. I've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, uh, villager breeding and everything before the, the, the new uh, auto crafting update rolls out. Um, yeah, just been dealing with like uh, complication. Oh, cool. Yeah, these, these complications right here. Where'd this map go? I, it might be gone forever. I don't think I have a copy. That's going to be tough to get back. Um, so yeah, we spent a ton of time... Um, building the zombie villager purification, uh, courthouse thing, and then it just, like, immediately got patched. Um, so that was super cool. Uh, that was totally not a bug, and they was like, it's a bug, and we gotta get rid of it. And they got rid of it. And so I had to, like, uh, go down a version. You can see I'm, like, at 1.20.4 1 here. Um, and I had to go back up, and there's all these complications, and I had to run all the villagers through before I could, like, ever play the game, and it was, like... It's such a, a chore to do, but it finally got done. We finally finished it. We're missing a map, but you know what? That's that's all right. Uh, we should probably make a backup of all these maps, too. I, I don't know how this works. Two? Is this how? Okay. And then... Okay. Well, this is weird. The map's just invisible. It's still there. So if we if we take it out... And we put it in here. Well, we get this. It's a blank map still. But we're not going to question it. We'll, we'll say that that was a bug with, with changing versions and whatnot. Cool. Well, I'm going to uh, finish this. This is going to be a long, arduous, tedious task. So wish me luck. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh, that that took a minute. But we, we got all of it. We got a, we got a big copy here. Uh, minus, you know, hopefully, hopefully that, that buffs out. But uh, I'm also very happy to have, like, a shader pack here that I really didn't have to tinker with the settings, like, at all. And it looks really good. And there's, like, uh, I don't know. I think there's sea lanterns under here. And they don't look, like, excessively bright or anything like they usually have as a shader pack. So everything looks red. These look really good. So I'm very happy. All right. Looks, looks pretty good. Uh, this spot is missing. This spot we just missed. So I'm going to take care of this one now. All right, very cool, very cool. Um, I guess I will show off what I did kind of off camera and what I've been working on and why I've been dreading recording the Minecraft Let's Play so much. Um, but I'm getting back to the swing of things and I, there's a lot of projects I want to get done before auto crafting. Auto crafting super exciting. I have a good vision for what I kind of like working with and showing off in this Let's Play. Um, and among like revamping the Shepherd Hall a little bit, I, I bred up quite a few villagers. Uh, got all their prices lower down, and it just took so much time, and it was so grindy and boring. Um, I've, I've like, kind of just been, like, this has been, like, my mindless work. <laughs> um, and it, it, it got so annoying. But there's a lot of, I, I did a lot of very, very specific breeding, um, for all of these, uh, shepherds here. Getting, like, you can see, like, all the different dye trades and whatnot, and also at building the wolf farm in the end. Um, I think we did that last episode. I, maybe I have footage of that, and I haven't put it in the Let's Play yet. I actually don't remember. But that's, that's going to come up, too. I guess we'll see that eventually. Uh, it might have been that long since I've recorded the last bit of the Let's Play, and I already recorded it, and I don't remember. That'd be funny. Um, but yeah, the, this area is pretty much all done. Um, I mean, the courthouse is basically worthless now. There's still a little bit you can do with um, Minecraft zombie villager conversion, but it's not nearly as effective. So it's a really good thing we um, that we got all these old, grandfathered-in OP villagers. Uh, just because I have so many trades that are available to me, uh, for just one emerald, it, it's kind of insane. Like, oh, it's so good, it's so good. So I'm happy to have these, they should stay here, uh, pretty much forever. Um, luckily their trades didn't get reverted, um, after, after the update here. So that's, that's super exciting, but I'm gonna show off what we're gonna work on today. That wasn't just me grinding stuff, and it's actually more villager stuff, more villager stuff. Very exciting. I also want to show off. This is, this is the last thing. I'm going to build a bunker over here. This is my friend's Pearl Harbor. I don't know if I can call it that. Um, yeah, there, there's some, uh, like, weaponsmith, toolsmith, armorers in here. Um, and we're eventually going to build, like, an underground bunker. Maybe revamp this a little bit. I told him his base was too too close to mine, and he had to, he had to, he had to move. So this is it's now an abandoned uh, uh, naval base. So I might spruce it up a little bit. I guess that, that wasn't a pun. Um... 
So yeah, what we're going to be focusing on first today, this episode is probably going to be a lot of building. Uh, we're going to make the interior of the um, uh, the employed villagers, their happily employed uh, public servants and not, you know, held here against their will. Um, we can we could realistically squeeze, like this is a lot of crops for one villager. The villager doesn't harvest all of the crops in any kind of capacity. Um, and these farms are just super, super effective from what I've noticed with the, uh, the atrium, the B atrium over there. Um, they're, they're, they function super, super well. They get, uh, so many resources. Um, and I don't think I'm going to use these for villager trading, but something like a bone meal farm or having all this go to bone meal. Um, and of course they can be traded with the farmers as well. Uh, it's just pretty lucrative to kind of update this and make this farm as effective as the one over there. Um, and realistically there's three levels here, so we can actually get um probably probably three villagers within every one of these four quadrants um there's that uh so that's going to be like tripling the amount of villagers um there's also the problem of all of these villagers actually have their inventory full right now so i'm going to show you what we're how we're going to do that how we're going to deal with this yeah yeah we gotta we're gonna be murdering a lot of villagers um they're they live good lives so <laughs> and before we're gonna rip out we're gonna rip all this out and build build a new uh very very similar just a little bit more efficient uh system here with the uh the villager um you know their 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 jobs right not their not their uh their, i mean their professions their professions of course as farmers i forgot if i showed this off <laughs> but it's cool and i like watching it all the time i'm I was very, very happy to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put this right next to my base or right next to my storage room because I'm here all the time. And I do hit it all the time. You can see all the, the minecarts going off right now and smashing the pumpkins. Don't worry. I, I assure you this is for a higher purpose. But uh, unfortunately, you must go. You, mu you must go now. The, the next realm awaits you. Uh, God will surely reward you for this. Your your sacrifice has been been very valiant. Thank you very much. All right, so I am back. Um, game audio is working now for whatever reason. It's been weird before. I can't really hear it on my end either. Uh, but I've kind of built up this huge track. I've built every single layer here as well. Um, th nothing nothing too interesting. I mean, it's the same thing repeated over. Let me make sure I'm actually talking to the microphone. Oh my God. Uh, it's the same thing repeated over 12 times, so it definitely took a little bit, but we're finally done with it. Um, so yeah, we got the, we got the, the minecart track all wired up here. Um, and on the top layer, we're gonna put these two hopper minecarts. Cool, let's make sure this works too, so if we just kind of nudge it over here. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of awkward with the tree being in the way and everything, so I imagine it's gonna be similar for the other four. I haven't got those... Wired up yet, or the other three, I suppose. Um, so we're going to drop two minecart with hoppers. And it's important we do minecarts with hoppers first. Otherwise, if we do the villager first, I think the minecarts will just land on top of the villager's head. So you need to do the uh, the villager last, which is pretty important. Uh, I have some water down there to break the villager's fall as well. Um, so I guess uh, I'm going to get, go get him imported here from the factory. Okay, let's see how this goes. He's coming from the factory. I uh, might want to actually... I, I think I could actually run fast enough. I forgot. Oh, maybe not. Let's just rock it. No! <laughs> Wasting precious time. I mean, it's going to take two years for him to climb up it, uh, climb up here anyway. Everyone knows minecarts are super slow. Alright, I'm actually... I'm actually They're so slow, I'm actually going to cut it out. Um, oh, my God. It was, he almost ran into me. Okay. Let's go down to the base layers. Oh, we actually need to hurry. Okay, there's a timer because there's uh, water underneath there to break his fall, except the water might drown him, and we need to break the minecart too. I think it's in this one over here. Yes. Uh-oh. And I think... Uh... Oh, we have, a, we have an empty bucket. Nice. Um, I don't know how we're going to get in here. I don't think he can jump out of here. I also think that iron block is now missing forever. Um, cool. Well, that definitely works fine. And then, yeah, all the, all the villager. I, I think I'm going to place a bell up here too, maybe. Um, 
Yeah, so let me grab some uh I need some I need some I need to balance some iron blocks. I think I think the villagers they like if they're farming in here, they're more likely to go to a location where there is a bell. Um Isabel, crazy from Smash Bros and Animal Crossing, right? Uh but yeah, okay, this works fine. That's good to know. I'm going to do this um three obviously two more times for this row and then do it three more times for these other other three chambers. So it's a lot of, a lot of repetitive stuff that we're going to get the villagers filed in here. Um, but yeah, it's gonna, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be very fun. At least this works smoothly. Uh, so I'm gonna keep doing more of this off camera. All right. Super exciting. Let's, uh, let's do it in one run. Hopefully let's see how this goes. How this goes determines how future runs are going to go. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad I caught you. The, the idea, uh, here is right now we kind of need them like a little spaced out. Uh, between launches, I guess I guess you could say, but not spaced out enough to where this first villager leaving is gonna beat me to the the uh, the atrium. Three, or I have to wait super long between villagers too. That's also a thing. Let's run out of here. Catch this guy. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Oh shoot. Oh no. Okay. All right, head in here. I've left these open too, so it's gonna run run around a track here, and go around to yeah this 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 region over here. So I guess we'll we'll sit back and wait for a minute. I might might cut this part out. I guess we might be able to see him come out too. Oh, there he, there he goes. Okay, we didn't have to wait. Okay, okay, he's coming. There we go. Cool. So do this. Then let's do this. Then let's do this. This should be good. This is this is ideal, right? Third guy's coming in. Perfect. Wow, pretty cool. Okay. Uh I guess let's uh close these off then. Kinda kinda on the cuff right here. Seal up these walls. Put in our glass in the corner. Very cool, Kanye. Um, I guess we need to get out of here still. So I guess I need to decide. I, I have uh, all the stuff we have here. I actually don't. I'm I'm voiding all of my or composting all my beetroot seeds. I just have like a huge panic trying to find them in the world. Uh, luckily I have uh th like pretty much three stacks of forty eight. So I guess these will be the beetroot guys. Um, I'll, I'll just give like a stack of every other crop to the other villagers. So I think first things first. I'm a little scared that these villagers already have crops from the breeder. So we're going to do a little bit of testing here. And see if they uh if he goes wild. Oh, it's pretty exciting first villager in the in the new chamber here. I guess he needs to get his profession and everything too. So I might go sleep, do a little bit of waiting. Um just kind of test out if these guys um actually yeah, don't don't walk out this way. Um if they're going to start planting, if they already have crops in their inventory, that's basically what I'm screening. That was hard to get out. All right, just uh, went and made some coffee. Um, it looks like they don't have any crops in their inventory, so that's super cool. Uh, I guess we will give them a. I, I, this is this is as much as we can spare. So hopefully they'll build up the reserves. Please take the the beetroot seeds, please. Yes, awesome. Okay. I kept on, I kept on freaking out too. I was like wondering where the uh, where they were. They like to hide behind the uh, uh, the the composters. It's like, yeah, where is he? He's actually doing a good job playing hide and seek. I'm um, gonna make sure they actually pick him up too. Oh, this looks like it's working well. Okay, awesome. Yep, we're just gonna do this um, eleven more times. All right, so we're here uh, at the Nether Hub with our nice fancy shaders super super cool and no this reflection isn't a isn't a shader thing it's actually there kind of cool uh the the old ice ice reflection gimmick oldest one in the book but we are looking for a mangrove biome um we're gonna be doing some work in uh the the city the city of utopia a little bit later um and i want to build something with mangrove logs mangrove fences specifically um and we actually have not ever visited uh excuse me visited a mangrove biome um on the world so 
Uh, that's probably like the Guardian Farm or something too. So yeah, I want to go like just basically build these uh, nether tunnels as, as long as they need to be. Probably like a thousand blocks. Honestly, if uh, I don't know, I have quite a bit of packed ice in my inventory, so whenever that runs out, really. Um, we're just going to branch off and start exploring for um, um, some mangrove biomes. We also need to find the deep dark, too. Uh, that might be a next episode thing. So I will cut back once I'm exploring and not building ice bridges in the nether. I guess that's where it ended. All right, well, <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right. Well, this is not nearly a thousand blocks, especially considering maybe closer to like 300, 500. Um, so let's light this up. Hopefully it's a mangrove. I mean, we're technically going to be, what, eight times eight? Is that six, 6,400? No way. Am I actually doing that math right? If I can actually go through the portal. Oh my God, this is taking forever. Oh, wow. Okay, I was kind of right with the math. It was a little bit actually more than I expected. I forgot, like, wow. Like, me when it's actually um, eight times as far. So, we're quite a ways out here. Uh, this is definitely all new terrain. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. I feel like a dark oak forest in a birch biome is a good place to find mangrove trees, maybe? I wouldn't know. I think the biome's, like, really rare, so we might be here for a while. Okay, there's literally no way I found a woodland mansion before a mangrove biome. I haven't even been looking that long. We literally found a woodland mansion. Well, I'm gonna go kind of explore this, too. I haven't... I'm kind of a Minecraft boomer, so I don't know. I think I say that a lot, actually. Uh, but I don't really know too much about the woodland mansions. I don't think there's anything crazy inside of them. It's like a statue of a chicken. I know I can get, actually... I can actually get killed here pretty easy. I think there's, like, uh, totems of undying and stuff like that. I don't really have a raid farm or anything yet. That is a plan in the future. If you're ever wondering what's, uh, that, that desolate land behind the courthouse. Uh, there's definitely plans for that in the future. There's, like, nothing here. This kind of sucks. Um. <laughs> someone's gonna, someone's, someone on the server is gonna, like, open this up. Oh, this is scary. That's scary, too. Oh, shoot. Okay. They, yeah, they do a lot of damage. I kind of figured. Uh, maybe we should get out of here. I don't know if they, like, spawn here. If we want to keep them in case we ever want to move them. Let's, uh... Let's get out of here. No, no, no. Oh, come on. I got caught on the fence. Well, yeah, we have keep inventory on, by the way. Um, I am a, a noob at Minecraft, so... Yeah, I have the light Matica thing right there, too. Little, little spoiler, little spoiler. Um, everything over here in the villagers, uh, their, their new farming setups has been going well. Uh, all of them are housed uh, with all of their respective crops. I've had to, um, you know, relocate a few of them due to them having potatoes in their inventory like I thought they did. Uh, just with how the way the villager breeder, breeder kind of worked um, and them, them sharing crops and items with each other. So if you do that thing in the future, too, uh, for anyone else with, like, villager breeders, um, and, like, who, who plan to, like, automate crops, that might be a problem, so just watch out for it. Uh, I'm sure there's better ways to avoid it, too, but, yeah, super happy to have this, like, finally kind of, it's not really finished. Um, I do have some plans in the future that I really do not want to be doing anytime soon, because there's, like, a million things I need to get done in this world before autocrafting finally releases, but, uh, this is, like, a, you know, definitely an area for, like, mini farms and crops, uh, of, of all kinds, and they added a bunch of new crops, um, like glowberries, and like, I don't know, even like sea moss and sea pickles, like, this world's pretty old, um, uh, so some of that stuff still feels new, almost, and it kind of needs, uh, uh, some, some love and attention with the automatic farms, um, so it's not, it's not completely done, um, it's a, it's a big tree, so there's gonna be quite a, quite a few more farms up there, uh, it's kind of funny, but I think I'm going to give another shot at finding the mangrove biome. Maybe uh, you'll, you guys will find out <laughs> what's going on over here later, too. It's a, the Light Matica mod for uh, new viewers as well. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go back to the nether and back to searching for the elusive mangrove biome just to find propagules. Nothing else, just propagules. Okay, so um, I definitely, absolutely... 
did not use a seed finder because there's not there it, i've been looking for hours for a mangrove biome um so after not using a seed uh a biome seed generator map thing i've uh found a mangrove yeah uh, pretty insane. So I guess we'll break some leaves and get some propagules. I've actually never been in one of these swamps before, too. Um, I think we do need the frogs. Uh, so I probably should try to get some frog eggs. Um, cause I, uh, frog light farm is on the agenda, although we're definitely not working on that this episode. Uh, but yeah, here's there's what we want there, the propagules. I'm sure this is old stuff to uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the audience, but... That's actually my first time in the mangrove biome. I haven't been playing as much Minecraft lately, so let's grab a few of these. Um, maybe try to get a stack. We are going to be building a uh, mangrove farm. It seems to be one of the simpler tree farms. Um, if you already have a blast chamber uh, hooked up to it, which we do, which is super exciting. Uh, I do want to get that kind of situated for and kind of talk about the future plans for it. Uh, just so we have all our, our, our raw material processing uh, finished before the new auto crafting update so yeah i'm gonna keep harvesting these propagules um i might do some stuff with some frogs as well i'll let you guys know um but i'm gonna cut back maybe sh maybe um kind of showcase the uh, me working on the farm a little bit maybe maybe i'll cut back to a build montage as well never know but yeah i'll see you guys later I just fixed the thing. Um, it's it's working now. I guess we'll see if the mangrove farm works. Please cross your fingers. Oh, I, I, uh, I need to turn it on first. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, I guess it's pretty big. Does, does this work correctly? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. I didn't see a tree grow. Looks like, yeah, it just looks like it punched the propagule. Okay, here we go. Massive. So that's kind of a bad sign um, if the propagules aren't growing right now. Because I think it means they don't have enough space to grow. So maybe I built something wrong. Or there's blocks where there shouldn't be blocks. Um, but these should theoretically be growing. Maybe it's too close to the wall, too. Oh no, it's working. It's definitely working. What about what do I what am I thinking? I, I see vines right there. I guess it's maybe not growing every single one of them. There's definitely pro like mangroves. Okay, it is working. Massive. Okay, well I'm gonna AFK here for a while, and hopefully we start getting a ton of mangrove um, logs because that's what we need to work on the next project before I think we're gonna wrap the episode up here. Massive. Look at that. Look at her go. It looks like it's working. I mean, you can see quite a few mangrove logs. Like all the dirt's starting to kind of fade away here. So it looks like this is working. Um, I'm going to turn it off for a second here. I don't know how these moss carpets got here. But everything looks like it's working. Let's do some like auxiliary testing. Um, it looks like these vines are, in fact, far enough away from the wall, maybe. So the vines are in this... What is it? this block right here and then the gray concrete is going to go right here so there should be three blocks in between and i think three blocks is what you need for the vines to not like latch on to the other wall uh which hasn't been built yet by the way there's going to be another another gray wall right here um so that's, that's something i try to watch out for when i kind of build this machine i didn't want to build it too close to i don't want to build it too far this way either um in case we end up using the space later and i also didn't want to put it any bit any closer to the uh, the other tree farms we have right here. And I don't think... This is a pretty simple machine, too, so it shouldn't break. Um, I do encourage you to check out the tutorial as well. Support if you want to um, yeah, build this in your world. But, yeah, I'm going to farm up a ton of mangrove logs. And then we're going to use them for a project. <gasps> a project. What kind of project could we be using mangrove logs for? Um, I, also, I also built the... Uh, 
uh, what do you call it? this intersection here? But yeah, I can't I can't imagine what I would use the the mangrove logs. We built the mangrove tree farm so we could work on a project for. Um, there's there's definitely uh, no no hints here. So I'm going to do whatever and then AFK and farm some mangrove trees. I guess it's still not reaching the blast chamber. So we got a quite a bit of a AFK to do. It's probably going to take like a maybe an hour or two um, to get a good sur surplus of mangro uh, mangrove logs and also enough for the project we want to be working on because these trees are a a pain to pain to farm. That's that's for sure. <laughs> uh, so I'll be back. Um, I'll farm some farm some swamp trees i'll see you soon here banners banners we're making some banners i actually haven't done much of banners before so i don't really know exactly what i'm doing so we're making nine at once we're looking for you uh, we're learning something today um how to make a cool shape in minecraft all right I, i'm sure it doesn't look like much right now maybe like some kiwi strawberry a new logo for a kiwi strawberry beverage yellow dot and you might be able to figure out what this is now red on top yellow in the middle uh green on the bottom it is black border and one more one final banner design to rule them all bam that's right oh no no they're supposed to be yellow oh okay well let me go get yellow dye not black dye whoops and they're done okay nine of these oh look at this if only there wasn't a huge massive upgrade to the bridge we built off camera uh this thing doesn't look as this is probably like one of the worst angles <laughs> uh to look at this thing uh but if we go like up here it looks so much better from a distance um like the the like the shape and like the the fact that it's like actually a suspension bridge now instead of these two pillars um with like a road in between them it looks so much better um and if you can't tell um i'm sure some some more astute viewers have already noticed uh we spent a whole bunch of time building this uh this mangrove tree farm you know we built the time lapse i have afk'd here for a while we had to go to the mangrove biome and if you go over here and you look at the uh the suspension bridge here yeah not not dealing with rain not dealing with rain um yeah, so if you look at if you look at the suspension bridge here, uh, these fences aren't mangrove fences; they are in fact nether fences. So I actually had to uh, empty out some of the chest there in the, uh, the 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 other the other nether tree farm, or I guess the only nether tree farm, the other tree farm, um, and and get that running because we didn't have enough uh, nether trees. We need to get that we need to get that building working. It's been it's been enough time. Um, oh, I didn't quite get it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see how this looks, too. We're just trying to clear everything up here. Super, super nice. Love this intersection. It's a little awkward with this wall right here. Um, I mean, I, I, I did my best. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to get it to look okay. I don't think it blends super well, so I might, like, tinker with that, or I might just let it be for a while um, and save it for a moment of inspiration. But yeah, that's uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I wanted to do a little bit more. I mean, I have a million projects um, like lined up and ready to be light Matica into the world and have you have you make me watch uh, or excuse me, uh, have you watch like a, a build montage. Um, so I was super excited to get the uh, the bridge here done. I did add uh, this little. There used to be like the sandstone slabs here, and I didn't really like that. I thought it was—I like the idea of it. I liked having slabs here, 
Um, but I thought it was too orange. Um, so what we might do, I might even, I think I'm probably going to get rid of these fences and I'm probably just going to put the, uh, the red, the, the red wire here down, like down a block. Um, I want to make up my mind and yeah, that looks, that looks so cool. Look like, well, look, I, I love that. I love that angle right here. Uh, fortunately it doesn't really, <laughs> uh, mirror, mirror anything that much cooler over here, but like the way it like, it lines up perfectly. Uh, with the catechist, with the with the two snakes, and around the around the the hermetic staff, um, so yeah, this is super super cool. It's uh, all done now, definitely. Um, I kind of do want to show off one more angle here, just like just like looking at just like looking at the bridge from like a far away distance. It looks a lot better. Uh, I mean, it's it seriously adds so much to the skyline. Yeah, just like this, this the just the suspension bridge, just the fact that they have like the wires actually touching the ground instead of the two giant obelisks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be wrapping things up here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.